Hello guys, my name is Ace from the channel, Lazy Tron, and welcome back to Batman Total Game Series stuff. And we're gonna continue the playthrough because we like the game and we wanna do it again. Um, let's just go. me oh no it's not him oh that's the passcode that was easy as crap now I can get into the bad cave I just have to say it's me yeah that was amazing best joke ever yeah game we know that it's episode one you haven't even released the other episodes realm of the shadows Realm of the shadows. I tried to do the Another cool boys, but I didn't. Oh, good. Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. But the most shocking part of this Not story all of them. Let's see what she was really after. She was after that D. <laughs> oh, I was about to do something up here. I was just drinking some water. I can walk. Codex. Got feed. And go with the um, data port. Let's look at that. And in other news, the back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. I don't know, I guess. Um, I mean, it's your computer, so you should know what's going on. Oh, data drive. Let's look at that. Nearly fell off a building for this. Well, check what's on it, maybe. What? That was weird. Oh, gadgets. Look at spare Just grapple gun. Can't believe I let her take that. The body of Falcone family combo can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. Oh, nice, mate. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Preferred. <laughs> because, like, she's a cat and she the cats right, have a fur. The mayor's office was a success. Hey. Uh, do I have any more? Uh, no. Movie tickets. Ooh. Kaden. Well, you, you, I guess he, he didn't make it to the movies. Access to the Gotham feed. I don't really care about this. Police lieutenant top to lead task force. Um, Wayne Enterprises. Um, uh, boring. Ooh. Oh, here we have all the characters. Who the fuck is that? Oh, this is the dude. Where's the other guy then? Is it you? No, this is Alfred. Oh, yeah, that's my butler. That's my butler. Hey! This is James Gordon. Oh, he is the gonna be the mayor. Oh, I get it. I thought that it was like a dude who kind of like promotes the other dude. I don't know. I didn't know that it, his name was Harvey or something. I don't know. Let's go. What? No. What the shit is going on? I can't exit out of here. I have to restart the episode. God damn it! There, I did it. What? This brings up a chair. What is a chair for? Let's bring that like rising up and down desk. That would be amazing. Damn. 
encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. Interesting. Those rooms don't matter. I like this game. I'm, I'm working, computer. mate. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what deep. that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Whoa, holograms! I love it. Oh. Oh. Oh! This is awesome. Can I do anything? Can't do any more than that. What am I supposed to be doing here? Like, what? Rotate. Oh, uh, rotating! There. Is that what I was. This is a map oh, inside it. shoreline. No, this is the map of the whole Flippin Town, things. mate. Only this Only side shoreline is like purple. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But wow. you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcon. Thank goodness that dude's a pain the in the book. Switch from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains well, are harder mean, to remove. Thanks for help, mate. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. Well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> nice! For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Well, that's what I, I think. I still had one. It can again, Bruce. Oh, this got deep again. No, people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? Ah, probably I've seen is. her before. Hopefully, I have. She's just I mean, tourist. in the comics or something? Maybe? Oh, I have a blood stain I'll on check your the codex. On your tuxedo, I just noticed. Or even on your shirt. Codex, got them feed. Camp burglar. Oh shit, I just clicked out of it. There. Oh god, this glitched out my game the last time. Um, Catwoman. Founder. New criminal on the scene. Tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, this GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Kaden. Please don't glitch, please don't glitch out, please don't glitch out, please don't glitch out, please don't glitch out. Yes, it then glitch out! Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. Yeah, I mean, she's a cat. A thing I mean, or two cats are pretty low down to the ground. Hey! You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I'll stay out of sight. I'll stay out of sight when I need well, to. Well, I mean, you're Batman, mate. Eh? You're like a flippin' ninja no, going bouncing all over Harvey the place. Calls. Nobody can uh, nobody can see you. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. Yeah, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but no one What does beating a dead argument mean? I'm I'm stupid. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. The city I needs have a Mary. job to do. Okay, the a responsibility. Right. I can't do the best no voice ever. This. For the car the I city presume, needs the car helps. Oh yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Take the business car, I mean, of course. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what, twenty years? Who is Oz? 
We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oh, God. Oswald, however, thick. Took that role uh, literally that can be translated into two words, I guess. So oh, God. Discharge illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam. If I'm using the expression correctly. Well, unfortunately, again, you got super deep with you, Alfred. You wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. I don't know, mate. You now. believe what you want to believe. Um, I'm the faintest. Idea. I don't know. I, I have a feeling like he needs money, so I'm just gonna. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, because I'm because you're generous. A little too much sometimes. With your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close. Oh, the crap is Cobblepot. Is that the dude? Ah, oh, the nicknames. I know you can't abandon a good mystery nicknames. until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Well, that was a really good scene. I'm hoping that we're going to finish the episode in this part. I'm hoping. I'm really into it so far. I like it, but the performance issues need to be fixed. Well, that dude's broke. <laughs> that was it. that was he was that was what he was thinking in his mind. His mind. His mind. His mind. He's probably in the building up there. Oh. Yes. Recent newspaper or the gr look at the graffiti, mate. Answer Armstrong. I think that it said Armstrong. Yes, Armstrong. No, I didn't look at it. No, I wouldn't look at the newspaper. I really wanted to look at the newspaper, though. That would have been amazing. That's probably give change. Give change to him. We're a good dude. Uh, thank you, sir. I mean, he's drinking, so in real life, if I saw somebody drinking out like there, I would just be like, no, you don't deserve the money. Because he's going to waste it on alcohol anyway. So, like, why would you give him money? Burning barrel. Look at it. Yeah, look at it. I mean, you never know what he's going to do with the money. I I'm just judging the book by his covers here, which is stupid as all hell on earth. Running late, meet you by the statue. Great. Well, there's a statue. There's a statue, but no eyes. But there was somebody down here. What? There was somebody there just two seconds ago. Oh, there. The smoking man. The man who's smoking. <laughs> I don't want to look at a shopping cart. Uh, smoking man, talk to him. Hello, my friend. Hey. You have nice hair, so. Punch him in the face! Oh, uh, that, 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 work. Um, let's just keep going this way. Like nothing ever happened. Uh, there's a statue. The graffiti. Where's the graffiti? I thought it was the, oh, the statue, but... Okay, statue. Look at the statue. Well, judges, look at that statue. It's flipping the maze balls. Oh, watch out, Oh God! Watch wallet cash. With this, goes through you. Oh, this bastard! Is that hey, you heard it, Oz? Shan't take it. For? Just try. Go ahead, try and take it. The hell do you say? Yeah, try and take it, man. I'm him. flipping Batman. I'll wreck your bastard. Gentlemen, Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. Oh, I like oh, Oz. Wait, no, I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here. Oh. Think that'll do? Oh, there we go. We're, I'm good at... Maybe, maybe not. I was going to say that I'm good at the combat and stuff, but when slagging, you can't be... Oh, God. Well, I guess I were fudged. Maybe not. Bam. Was that a? <laughs> I thought that it slapped him. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. You can't do that. 
Oh god! This dude's face is getting wrecked! It was already wrecked before, but now it's like double wrecked. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little uh Hey, good as new. Oh not really, I have the same thing on the other cheap. That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Ah, so I mean, they, thanks for the help. Let's be nice here. here. It was our childhood thanks friend, the but I have a feeling like he's gonna turn our back on me. Turn his back on me. Bruce. Oh, yeah. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Everybody uh, likes that. I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. You're right. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. Don't you? That's bad for your god damn liver. Mum, <laughs> cut it into Arkham. Dad, ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place. Wait. He said it's funny. But the game subtitle is as Spunny. I mean, if he said Spunny, then it would be okay. But he said, actually, it's funny, not Spunny. Moving on. Ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties. Well, I mean, I lost my parents too. Like that makes you feel any better. Potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! He was not invited, mate. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in that. Yeah, he sucks. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Well, that was, that Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? Hopefully. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. Okay, okay. Starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like Dude, said, it's not I'm not your enemy. Pretty. I'm your friend. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? Wow! I told you that he's gonna turn our turn his oh, back on us. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts. Make sure you're on the right side. I'm still on Harvey's Good side. I mean, Bruce, I don't care. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Press conference for a new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on south side of the park. Is that a, a reference? South side of the park, South Park. Hey, <laughs> jokes. Everybody likes them. 
Volume 2. Whoa, where is this? I thought that I was playing Batman, not Harry Potter. Woo! That car looking fun! Is that Falcone? Oh, that's me! Mr. Wayne, over here! Right here! This way! Bruce! Bruce! Good morning, everybody. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> Love. I'm bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Need to talk, sir. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its Not security, now, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Wow, well, I, I thought that Alfred is going to be like the dude who, who can't even use his phone, but he, he uses ASAP Today, and stuff. With a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Clap, Mr. Wayne clap. has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Ah, uh, um... The sick need our help, my parents would be honored. Uh, the sick need our help. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Nice. That was actually touching. Um, together we change cars. this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Not even a clap. Today. That was the most touching story ever. Not even a clap. Fateful night. Really? We dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Well, I mean, leave it. Leave it standing. I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. Yes! This time we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources Tribune, say whoa. you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Um, Falcone's not I don't friends. make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Ignore! I don't care. I'm gonna be a good guy. But Mr. Wayne, Kinda. this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? What? Transactions connected to organized crime um... going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I doubt your evidence, and did mate. Did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Dude, what are you telling us? Your source is wrong. You should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. <laughs> yeah, though. 
Mr. Wayne. I never know Mr. that. Mr. Wayne. How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Okay, um, Alfred. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? Why? What happened? And on that note, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you, I mean, not the episode, but the part of the episode. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here just because I kind of want to uh, make the parts to be at, at least like a half an hour long. I don't want to make it too long, but I don't want to make him like too short. So there, there, there's, there's not a lot of them. Uh, I think that it's gonna be like another part, and then we're ending the episode because like hopefully there's, it's gonna come to an end. I love it so far. I absolutely adore it. It's, it, it reminds me so much of the uh, Walking Dead and uh, the Lost. The, what, what is it called? Um, the Lost Wolf or something, I don't know, something like that. Um, but anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like button down below and also subscribe to be on an AC. I'm gonna see you in the next video guys, please stay epic and bye!